Easy there. Don't shoot. Bullseye, right? And my man Deacon, still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more of them raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. What do you mean, a new face? We gotta file off the serial numbers on new arrivals, make it hard for the Institute to find them. Most sense going for a brand new set of memories as well, you know, for that extra protection and all. But first, we gotta get them to safety. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. You do anything else there? Most of what we do is look after the new guys. They usually got a million questions, so I try and answer as best I can. We got some of our own questions, too, about the Institute and whatnot. Agents sometimes drop by to lay low if the bad guys are on their tail. Never a dull moment. I'll lead the way. Hi, Raz. And we're here. All in a night's work for you agent types. Huh. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. And Deacon. Try not to give the rookie too much shit. Deacon may be a terrible liar, but it always pays to have him on your side. Later. Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't say anything.
Tom needs you. He keeps bugging me about it. All right. Now be careful with that gun. Real careful. What? <laughs> Why, Tinker? Because the ammo should have some real oomph to it. Hey, Doc. Me and the boy's been working on it. Tiny little package, but a hell of a big kick. Is it safe? You say safe? Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I mean, well, uh, uh, probably. The math looks tight. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. Whoa! I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? Where's Terry? Of course. But there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. The safe houses are in trouble too? I thought only the switchboard was attacked. Ah, the Institute didn't content itself with just destroying our headquarters. No. They launched simultaneous strikes on all we hold dear. Herkema and Allen safe houses are both confirmed kills. Many fear Augusta will be added to that list. How bad did the Institute hurt us, Doc? Frankly, we're lucky there's a railroad left at all. I don't remember a time our numbers have been so few. But the mission carries on. I'll get it done. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? He goes back to the Big War. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. Give me details. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? I'll take good care of Mila. She's got a lot of sensitive components. So be gentle, all right? I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in.